After a great time in Tokyo, it was off to Ho Chi Minh City. I managed to book this business class flight using Virgin Points in about $125. Spotless perfection. Only in Japan. The time has gone too quickly. It is already time to leave Japan, but I will be back hopefully this year because would there be a better place in the world to celebrate your 40th birthday than here? And today I'm flying business class with a and again. You cannot even remotely compare it to the first class that I flew a few days ago, but this will do anyway. And uh, it's I think six hours, something like that. And I'm looking forward to trying out this new plane. I've never been on this plane before. Vlogging in this country is difficult because you want to be polite and you don't want to make noise or stand out in the crowd, break the rules but it's been absolutely amazing. This lounge is fantastic. Uh, as you can see, there's all kinds of delicious foods. You can order different ramen, soba noodles, there's 12 different types of curry. That's just the direct like a la carte menu that you can order. And of course they also have this buffet and it's very, 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 very high quality. Everything is delicious. They've got good quality alcohol. They've got loads of space to sit, really a lot, but on the 1st of February, Priority Pass will no longer be accepted here. Because it's the only Priority Pass lounge at the moment. But yeah, good to know next time there might not be any lounge that I can use. Next stop, Ho Chi Minh. Masks are still necessary. As usual, I chose a bulkhead seat. In this case, seat 1A, because bulkhead seats quite often have a much bigger footwell. And I really appreciate that on these longer flights because that makes it easier to sleep. Here we are, business class, seat 1A. So far, looks really comfortable. I'm very excited. Although it's not the case on every plane, the bulkhead seats often do have a wider footwell, and this allows you to sleep more easily and to turn over. Paired with a seat that is right next to the side of the plane allows you to spread out a little bit more. And here I am trying to show you how deep the footwell is, as it was a bit dark. As you can see, you get everything that you need here, power, remote control, lights, and a surface to store your things. These older business class seats might not be as good as the new ones, but definitely wide enough and comfortable enough. In fact, I actually had to make an effort to stay awake to have the dinner. And here we are waiting for someone to board the plane finally. The business class cabin is relatively large and has quite a few seats in it. Nonetheless, it was still very quiet and very comfortable and it was very easy to sleep. Choosing a window seat with the console on the aisle gives you much more privacy and sitting at the very front also makes you feel like it's a private flight. Looks like it's going to be a comfortable flight. You've got your dimmable windows. I wonder how dark it's actually going to get. I flew this Dreamliner in 2015 in economy. I remember having my mind blown by just the quality of the economy. Things have changed since then. Many points have been collected. And if you saw my last video, you saw that I flew on what I consider to be one of the world's best first classes. The food was crazy, the whiskey cost a thousand dollars, champagne was hundreds of dollars, uh, you got a pyjama and incredible service, so that was amazing. And here uh, there is no first class, that was of course I would have tried to book that, but I'm very happy with my seat 1A. Should be, I think it's about six hours, six and a half hours. I'm looking forward to trying the food. Uh, I don't think it's going to be quite uh, the same as uh, first class, but I expect it to be absolutely delicious nonetheless. Um, so we'll stay awake for that and then hopefully we'll sleep for a few hours before I land in Vietnam because I'm pretty sure that once we land, all hell will break loose. So let's see uh, how that goes. We are slightly delayed because they're actually waiting for a connecting passenger. So I'm quite surprised that they're doing that, but uh, it's very good especially if I was the passenger. It's very comfortable. So I've ordered, of course, the Japanese menu, Washoku, and I'm very excited for that. I shall eat and then I shall sleep. Once we reach cruising altitude, we will serve champagne and nuts. And here we are flying over the Iriomote and Ishigaki Islands. And if you would like to see a video on that, check the top right corner. The internet connection on the plane is excellent. It's really very, very good. You can send pictures. If you want to try playing my game, which you have to be online. So I'm very happy with that. I thought it was maybe only a first class thing, but I have to say it's absolutely fantastic. So yeah, it's worth it. It's about $20 
for the whole flight and about six dollars for half an hour. And then we got our meal. I chosen the Japanese meal with rice and beef and potato in a soy sauce. Here's some miso soup, some kind of dessert and some seafood starters. It was absolutely delicious. The beef and the onions and the potatoes were very sweet and succulent. I'm surprised that I liked it because it was sweet, but it was absolutely delicious as all Japanese food is. Here I'm just wolfing everything down because I want to sleep, but I do have to say everything was delicious. And it was time to sleep. So I moved the seat into the bed position and on these business class flights you do not get a mattress topper. The pillow was very decent and the bed sheet or the cover was also quite comfortable. A little bit more padding would have been nice but perhaps I'm just spoiled from the first class flight. I'm quite a white guy as you can see and I fit into the seat very comfortably and I sleep on my side. I had enough space to roll around and I have to say I had a very comfortable sleep and actually only woke up about 25 minutes before we landed. And that's the end of the video. Please join me in Ho Chi Minh for some crazy action, fun, and Hi. some delicious food.